Hi and welcome back. So uh, I would like now to finish uh, the subwoofer here. So we need to do the front speaker here, or whatever is that, and also the plugs uh, behind. So first of all, we'll do this this front part. So I will hide the grid, which is not finished yet, but it will be, and we'll start in the front view uh, with this. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure how it's looking there, but it's looking like something like this. Poorly. So we'll try to do uh, something similar like it's there because we don't have all the details and I don't know this album for so uh, I can't tell for sure how it's looking but we'll try to make something very similar. Uh, so let's again go to the circle. Now we'll again use the shape merge to create here a circle. So first of all I will draw here a circle big like this. We'll center it somehow, somewhere here and maybe make it like 8 wide should be enough okay so select our sh uh, shape if you have the any modifier delete it before we go to compound objects shape merge and we'll pick the shape here okay convert to poly select our shape delete it because we don't need that and let's go again to the vertex mode. Now we'll apply a quick weld to we'll weld a few of the verts around, but also we'll manually uh, delete some. So just select them and hit backspace to have something like this. Now select the poly, let's go to geopoly just to be sure that uh, we have a perfect circle there because if not and we are going to perform so, some kind of insets and mergers and booleans, not booleans but bevels so uh, if you will not have perfect circle there you will have some problems at the beginning because when we go uh, lower with the settings you will see that if it will be not a circle it will be more visible less the settings will be Okay, so let's go back to the poly. Now we'll make here two insides, something like that. Now we'll go to the bevel tool, rotate it. We can go to uh, perspective view and we'll try to make here somehow the shape. Of the speaker, so some kind or well, somehow like this. You can a anyway tweak it a bit to have a nice and round shape. So something like that. Now we'll make here again two insets. No, we'll make four insets to make something like that and now I would like to do here this kind of half sphere which is here now how to do that we could of course use the bevel tool to make that but uh, it will be not absolutely a sphere or it will be not so round how we would like to have it so uh, we'll do it very, very smart we'll create about this a sphere we can keep the outer grid function on So a sphere and a size like this. I'll move it some somewhere in the center and make it also bigger. So as you can see, the twenty of segments which we have there are perfectly fitting inside. This is cool. So we'll make a shape like this. If you think it's too much. We can go a bit lower with that. Something like this. And we'll just increase the size a bit. Okay, now convert this to poly because we need to delete a part of that. Select one poly, turn the poly mode off, move it here. Let's go to the left view. Now, this part here. I want to keep, so I will just select this here. Press delete 
no. So like this one, delete this poly because we need to build it from merge it together and with the polys there we'll be not able to do that. Okay, bad access. Yep, this one. So move it to the back. That slightly touch each other. Now attach this back. <coughs> Select these two edges somehow. So we need to select oops. Let's go to the select tool. All the X. We need to select this and this. Ah oh, we have them. Th these two edges here. Loop them, control edge, uh, control vertex, and weld them together. So back to all X and we have here the shape. Perfect circle. Ah, cool, huh? Now let's make the few details. Now first of all select this one, loop that. Not chamfer, my bad. Extrude. Again we will make here a small gap. It's very, very nice detail and very easy to do. Loop and chamfer a bit. Now also loop this edge here and chamfer. Now why I kept this one here? Ring that. Control poly. And now we'll use we can use the extrude tool for this. We'll extrude this up. Now we'll select the top edges first. Select them, loop them, apply a chamfer, can go bigger one. And now we will select the bottom. Loop again, smaller chamfer here, and one more time. This one, this one will again apply an extrude, and again we will chamfer that. Okay, now we need to uh, snap that to the rest. So what I will do, I will use my cut tool, perform this kind of snapping. Just be sure that uh, you snap it right. So not creating any triangles and stuff like that. So I don't want this one here, so I'll delete that. Also this vert. And again, I'll use this one. Try to snap it here. So zoom if you if you need, just zoom on that. Okay. Okay, one more time. I know I'm creating here triangles and angles, but as I said before. Uh, this is one of the, I would say, best and quick, quickest techniques how to do this. So, Trubusmith and this. Okay, we have there some some cracks. Oops. Here, so as you can see, like that. So this basically means that. Probably need a few more, a few more or longer. We'll try it here on this this shape. Up is fine. Here the bottom is not so fine. Okay, uh, we'll look on that in a minute. Just do the same. Oops, also here. 
just to make sure that the sides are looking the same. Okay. So what we will do here is just we will move the snap just one step further. And it should do the job. Okay. Just check this bottom here and I can also from bigger bigger cut to dual shape. Okay, let's look on that. Okay. <coughs> so uh if you think it's too deep can do something like this. We can select this word control poly and we'll just go that. And we will click 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 until we will go to this. So now one time shrink. And like this, it should be fine. And I do place the top cover on that. Should be somewhere here. And we are almost done with this. It's looking pretty nice so far. Of course, with textures, and so it will be much better. Okay, so now to the back. We need to make there some plugs. Now, of course, we need some power plug, the wireless antennas because it's a wireless system. And if we are uh, by this, we can also do there some change connectors. If someone would like to do with cables, you never know. Now, we could do it again to the shape, but we will need these power plugs and all all these plugs on all our devices. So I will do it right now uh, like a separate shape. Uh, this will allow us to copy it after and use on all our shapes. You know, it will be much easier. Now where to do it? Probably here. Uh, we could do it also here but it's uh, too low. So let's do it here. Uh, <coughs> okay so first of all cylinder. Now we will first do the antenna here. Okay, I think this this will be the, uh, a nice initial shape. Okay, convert to poly uh, one segment first. Heating will be fine. So let's call this antenna. And actually, I think I can copy that and use it for something else later. So how this kind of stuff is looking? Now first of all we have the connector. Then we have the treat inside. Uh, we will not do the treat actually, but we'll just simulate that uh, with something like this. So here will be a small gap. Small gap, as you can see. And now we'll use the bell tool. And this is too much. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> okay, I like this. Now again, extrude. Now with this extrude, we'll go a bit more somewhere here this will be the first part of that now the first part uh, have some kind of some kind of arm or mechanism which allows it to rotate in more axis 
Um, yeah, so we can try Geopoly. No. I hoped it would make uh, a rectangle from that. No, it didn't. So, anyway, we can use also this, this shape. So, we'll make it. Let's say smaller, we don't need it big. Something like that. Should be fine. Okay, now let's do here some chamfers before we proceed. Anyone else? First of all, here we'll do one. Also, also here, we can use the same value here on the top, of course. And of course, also here. Okay, now the second part of the antenna. Uh, I will copy this, or less I will delete almost everything. I will just keep the bottom poly, it will be enough for the initial shape. Hold on, shift, we'll make it like this because we need some shape. We'll snap it here. Oops, we want to rotate it by 90 degrees, but everything. <coughs> so, right now it should be absolutely in the middle. Yep, I like that. Mm, that zoom perspective. Now we need uh, some kind of this stuff also here, but uh, right now we need two of them. So insert is fine, but it will not give us right now what we need. We need absolutely the same two of these things. So how to do that? Yeah, how to do that? So we can do it like that. We'll cut the shape into oops we'll select these two and inset okay get this nice shape oops and we'll extrude it somewhere here okay cool now now uh, if we go to the left view, it should be somewhere here connected. So what I will do, I will flick the pivot to the bottom of this, and let's see. Okay, if we move it here. So, okay, something like that. Nothing, nothing hard to do. Really, just the basic shapes which we we'll use. So, this will just move here to the bottom. <coughs> yeah, and of course, we need to perform some chamfers. So, We'll hit the chamfer here, uh, here at the bottom. Of course, here. Oops, one step back. So like this, loop that, this and this, loop and loop. And also this one. So now chamfer. Okay. Now we can also weld these together if you want. Three. 
if we somehow zoom on the rest, should be able also to touch it well. This. And from the other side, also this one. Okay. Okay, so this is this. From this point, uh, we can make the antenna. Uh, I don't know. Like this. Pretty, pretty bit more high. Like that. Yeah, this should be fine. Oops, not that axis, but all. Just a bit. Okay, when I'm thinking on that, uh, perform here extrude. Small one, of course. Like that. Loop that. Try for that. Okay. Now what else uh, we have there? Should have some head or something or how to tell. It have a lot of different shapes of course. This kind of stuff. So what I will do, I will extrude this a bit. Yeah, this is perfect size. Probably too much, like that. And now I will use the bevel to perform Something like that. Just to make here some, some kind of cap. So we always nice to have all these objects somewhere. Do you know that you, that you can just look, touch and apply. Okay, again chamfer. Simple antenna. Okay. Now I will try uh I would like oops let's go here for snap. I would like to have it more here, what this will do. It will interact with the shape. Okay. Well, I think it's not something which is a problem that it will be somewhere here. Okay, uh, before I do anything else, now there is uh, the first question: Apply triple smooth or not? Um, no, we could, but do we need that? Okay, let's try here. Um, I think we will have no we don't have any problems either one or second shape but okay we will apply triple smooth in both uh, even that we don't need it more or less but why not we'll just make here a bit uh, more adjustments so first of all I will make here this okay we can delete that so far <coughs> and, uh, when I look on these kind of antennas, I always have a feeling that they are more edgy. And this is why I'm telling if to apply or not. Can okay, we we'll apply here and insert something similar also here? Two inserts. Oh. Uh, can make here cylinder okay what now I don't know if I if I created something or not but but feeling that no Hmm, it's a bit strange. Ok, 
Okay, I can create it there, but can't create it anywhere else. It's a bit strange. But okay, now what I want to do uh, is really a small. I cannot create even here. Now I can, um, you know, sometimes I don't understand what is happening again. What is happening there in the air? Something very, very strange. Anyway, uh, I, I want to create here some kind of bolt. You know, uh, this has to be rotating, recording something. Oh, left view will be, I think, okay. Yep. And I will place it here. Even it's so far too big. Oh, radius. And it will be really just something like this. Oops. <coughs> Perspective. Yep. And this will be so small. That we don't need to apply anything here. So this will be antenna part. Antenna rotate part. Just to name everything. Uh, okay, this is that. This is that. That's fine and fine. Mm, okay, this will be rotating according to that. And this will be nice to be linked to this and also to this. And this, oops, this should allow us, okay, different, this one, okay, let's try it like that, come on, yep, okay, let's try it now, yeah, okay, now it's good, so this should allow us to rotate, to find a good axis, Should be here, yeah. So it's rotating with each other. Okay, we have it like that. Now we can apply the triple smooth which I was talking about. So here, and here we could also apply just a smooth modifier, but it will not smooth it so so much. I would like to have it, and I decided. To do that or nothing. Okay, so here we go with the antenna. We can, of course, to do here a bit more, more details, just to make it uh, more interesting. So we can connect that, <laughs> like that. We can extrude all of these at once. To make here this kind of detail, let's let's call it detail. In the smallest chamfer, and uh, we can do something small also here. But here we'll do just or not. No, here we will not do anything. So so like that. Here will be our antenna. Uh, pretty easy. Ah, not not so bad. So it's for the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, <coughs> okay, now let's do the rest of the connectors. So we need to plug for the power and a inch or two inch or more inches. I don't know. Let's go with four inches and one power black. Okay, <coughs> so we can uh, we can use this one like a reference. I can go with six inches. I decided, so uh, I will move it somewhere here. Now, have a look at cinch. Uh, I hope it's, it's the right name for that. 
I'm not actually sure how it's called in English, but I think it's called the same like in my language at Sange. So I will extrude it a bit. Like this. I will set it a bit. Like this. We'll extrude it back. We'll set it one more time. Extrude it now. This. Like that. So I will go with the shape like this. I'm sure it's not pretty. Uh, Pretty accurate, let's say, but should be enough for the purpose. Oh yeah, we can try for that and that, and this one at once. Go probably with the smallest value, yes. So we'll have something like this and I will, you will not believe, but I will again make something like that, but without any chamfer. Uh, <coughs> so something like this, the color code on these ones, I think it's somewhere at the bottom, but I'm not sure. Because uh, I have here some changes, but uh, I cannot grab them right now. So ring that control poly extrude by local normal. Okay, like this. Let's let's say here we'll do the color coding because it should have some. We'll try for this a bit more and this a bit less. <coughs> okay, I hope it's not too big. I think it's fine. Okay, apply triple smooth on this. Again, okay, two. We want it. Uh, yeah, I think the inside is too big. Okay, uh, quick fix. Now, from perspective view, probably. We'll try to apply scale like that. Okay, we'll go with like this. Anyway, it doesn't matter much. And do it like that. Okay, cinch. I forgot to name that. So we'll make it. I don't know, nine of them. <coughs> so So we will have plenty of blocks here at the bike. Hmm. Yeah, they are fine. I think a bit too big at all. But I think we can fix that with the general scaling of all. Yeah, this is a bit better. Okay, so uh, we have here that same spot. If we are making them so many, uh, we need there so much, uh, some space for the shields, or for the names, like for what. So I'll make it just six at the end. Okay, <coughs> now the power black. Uh, and on on uh, wait on and off function. So the power black uh, will be probably very similar to this one. Uh, no, it will actually just just a hole. So take it like this. Uh, 
we need to insert that inside, extrude it back. Now connect this. Move it pretty down. Oops, not loop, but ring. Select the side, ring that control poly. Again, extrude it by local normal a bit, but this time we will apply here a very, very small chamfer, so like that. And also here and here. And of course, also here. So, Control H, chamfer. <coughs> so, okay, here will be our proper black supply trim, but not also here, two, and insert the inside a bit. Okay, if we look in the back there. Oh, I, I think it's fine. Uh, I don't, yeah, we could do there more with the power plug, but. Okay, we could do it at first smaller. The size is making a bit of a difference there. And actually, maybe not so high. Like this. Okay, there should be a hole like a black, you know, that it's more deep than it looks. But we will not uh, perform there anything right now. And there should be a. Actually. Oops. A center. Center. Okay. Okay, one more time. Okay, like this. I hope at the end it will like look that it's deeper. Anyway, uh, as I said, uh, I would like to copy all of this stuff and taking this into account. And probably that nobody will see that we don't need to make them any anymore. <coughs> okay, but the last thing, for the last thing, the on-off button can make the size of that like this. It can be big, it can be small. It can have all the shapes of the world, but. Make it like that. So I will call this the power for black and this power oops power button. Okay, again how this kind of stuff looks. Well, it's always nice to make common things. If if you make common things like this, you never make it like it really looks at real it's because I don't know actually I don't know why you're trying to do something there but it never looks the same okay so let's apply a small chamfer on the edges you can make a chamfer also these edges here uh, we'll make it like that now the pressing button uh, we can do from this. Hold on shift, place it, place it here, clone to an object. And <coughs> how it should how this is looking. Okay, uh, let's let's just improvise here. Do you own power button if you will not like mines? 
Okay, let's cap cap the back. Well, first of all, we'll chamfer that and that. Okay, everything is chamfered now. If you push push the one, the second show should go up or back. You know, I want to create something like uh, one and zero. Okay, let's do it like this. I will connect this twice. It's too much. Select uh, let's do it like that. Control H deselect this, but move this a bit up. See? And the same here. Deselect that and move this a bit forward. Okay, and if we center this and rotate a bit, and now move here, should have something like this. Okay, rotating to the other side. It's too much like that. Okay. Uh, here I will not apply Chuba smooth, but I will just apply here the smooth because this one should be a bit edgy. Okay. Now, if you don't like the shape, you can make it a mod thinner. I like that. Okay, so everything in the back is done. Everything in the front is done, so the subwoofer is ready. i move somewhere here. And also I think I will stop here. And just uh, start the new shape with a new part, I think it would be better. With my luck, I will screw something and I have to start all over. But uh, I think like this, it should be fine. So okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you like it so far. Uh, I was making now the details, now the plugs and so uh, they are a bit strange. But if you look on them for some while, they will be looking fine. So uh, we'll continue with some other speaker. Well, uh, when we look on that, now I. I'm pretty sure we can do this and this in one part. Uh, if we do this and this, we'll just copy that and then we have this one. So we don't have much to do. We have much to do, but I'm sure we'll make it quite fast. So again, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.